G'day there. Today I'm going to go through the transcription of YouTube videos in what I think is the easiest manner possible. Of course, I would really appreciate a like and subscribe as there will be lots more happening on this channel in the areas of AI and Obsidian uh, very shortly. Both are subjects that I'm quite passionate about. So today we're going to be covering the frustration of remembering podcasts when exercising or driving or simply in an inconvenient situation and the difficulty around making notes or recording something at the time. How we can overcome with a simple solution, the process to solve the problem, and even getting a summary of the podcast from ChatGPT. Links to the software used and a full article on the process are included in the show notes below. So welcome to the video and let's get into it. One of the most favorite parts of my day is my walk in the bush every morning. I'm very lucky to have a walking track in my town that has native plants, lots of birds and even the occasional kangaroo. And this is the time of the day I listen to my podcasts. They can be on a range of interests, but predominant amongst them is AI, artificial intelligence, of course, leadership, community and neuroscience. The problem I find is that when listening to them, I don't get the opportunity to take notes. So when a pearl of wisdom is shared, I have to remember it when I get home. And believe me, that's not as easy as it sounds. Of course, there is a solution, and it's really quite simple. And that is simply to get a transcript of the podcast. Some podcasts offer these and attach them to the show notes, which is wonderful. But for the ones that don't, an alternative solution needs to be found. So in this video, what we're looking at are the podcasts that are given on YouTube, not necessarily just on a podcast channel. We'll cover that in a, in a subsequent video. So we're going to look at an easy one, which is podcasts that are broadcast on YouTube as well as the podcast platforms. And this will form part one of a series of two videos or articles. And I'll cover YouTube in this one and normal podcasts in the next. OK, so transcripts are easy to obtain from YouTube. And on the screen now, you can see a platform called Glasp, which is at glasp.co. And there'll be a link to that in the show notes as well. So to get these transcripts, GLASP is what I use. It's a social web highlighter and transcript provider for YouTube. So the first thing to do is to sign up to GLASP, which is free, and there's a link in the show notes that is an invite code to GLASP for you. So I'm just going to sign in now behind the scenes here with my Google account, which is the only way you can get into it, and I'll be right back. So here we are in my GLASP account. Now, when you've got your account set up, click on your avatar in the top right hand corner here and drop down. And here you will see the browser extension. And that's what you want to install. So you install the browser extension and we're ready for YouTube and other uses as well that I might leave you to explore. And by the way, Glasp does have an integration to Readwise too if you use that platform. So if you go to YouTube and select a video to watch, and we'll just duck over there now, and here we are uh, on YouTube, you will find that the transcript and summary will come up on the right-hand side of the video. This is up here on the top right, as you can see. So you can see the glass icon at the top left of, of that right there. And this is what the extension is doing in your browser. And here you can see one of Obsidian's greatest advocates, Nick Milo, presenting a video. And on the right, you can see the glass area where you need to click the down arrow to open the transcript and summary, including all the timestamps. By the way, I'll include a link to the videos for Obsidian in the references below. Now, it doesn't stop there, though. You can select text from the transcript and even highlight areas for subsequent exports. So, Let's do that now. So here, let's just choose this bit here. Take that. And this is great for taking notes. So we can highlight it there and export it. And then we can copy this one here. So right click, copy. And then we'll just go up to our online text editor here but for the purposes. But you could have your own text editor and paste it. Control V or Command V. And there's that pasted in, and you can add notes to it in that way. So that's just demonstrating how you can do the uh, text editing and 
adding text to something or whatever. So let's see what other magical properties does this browser extension from Glass provide? How about an AI summary of the video? Right, so what we're going to do now is we've got our transcript here. We've got some highlights and some copied notes. And we're going to go up here to this icon here, which is the OpenAI icon, if you're familiar with ChatGPT and OpenAI. And we're going to click on this and it'll take us across to ChatGPT. And here it has pasted the entire transcript into the chat. And here you can see that it is generating a video summary of the entire video. And let's just let that run there. It's gone up to there and, and there we have it. So we've got a chat GPT summary of the video, which you can copy and store somewhere in your notes. But it's always important to curate it and reflect on, on it so that it becomes your own summary so that you can remember it. So let's go back here to our home for Obsidian for Beginners. And I think that it's fair to say that I find this to be an extremely useful tool. One of my favourite podcasts is the Huberman Lab, and his episodes can run for up to four hours. Now, I must admit, I don't walk for that long in one go, uh, but generally listen to his podcasts over a week. I find a lot of the information absolutely riveting and need to record it as a note in my Obsidian Vault. Glasp really comes into its own here, providing the service that it does. In the next video I make, I will show you how to extract a podcast from a website and create a transcript for use in note making. Well, that's a wrap for today. Hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to check out the show notes for all the links. Oh, and uh, just another little reminder to like and subscribe. See you next time. Cheers.